Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a question about uh, structure analysis. The question will be solved due to slope deflection method. You can see there is a beam. We have three supports. One is roller and uh, two is fixed. So let's solve the question. The first, I'm going to specify the fixed end moment. So fixed end moment for fixed end moment for a b. You know that it's going to be negative. So the fixed amount for AB to P, P what is P, P is 3, uh, what is L, 9 over 9, that will be minus 6, and for fixed amount moment BA, that will be positive of that, 6, and for uh, fixed amount moment BC, that will be P, P, what is P? P times P times L, 20 over 8, and it will be minus 10. And for fixed end moment CB, that will be also 10. So let's find the moments and write the moment equations for moment AB. That will be 2EI over L. What is L? 9. 9 times 2 theta a plus theta b minus 3 delta over l, right? And of course, it will be minus 6. For the moment b a, sorry, I'm going to tell you correctly. For the moment b a, that will be 2 e i over 9 times 2 theta b plus theta a minus 3 delta over l plus 6. And for moment cb, this will be 2 ei over 20 times 2 theta b plus theta c minus 3 delta over l will be minus 10. For the moment, sorry, this is going to be BC, one second, sorry, it's going to be for BC and it's going to be for CB, yes, now this is correct, over 20 times 2 theta C plus theta B minus 3 delta over L plus 10. So now you can see that in the, at the fix, there is no deflections. So I don't need to theta C and theta A. I don't have any uh, settlement, so that is okay. I just have a theta B. So now let's define the theta B. You know, at the same support, the both uh, directions moments, uh, summation of them are equal to zero. So. I'm going to take uh, moment BA plus moment BC is equal to zero. So let's write it. That will be four EI theta B over nine and plus six and plus four EI theta B over 20 minus 4 and equal to uh, sorry minus 10 sorry 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 minus 10 and it will be equal to 0 from this I'm going to simplify it 0.45 theta b and e i plus 0.2 theta b e i equal to 4 so theta b is equal to 6.2 over e i so now now i find the theta theta b so i'm going to write uh, in its place and i'm going to find the moments uh, when I write the, the theta b in the moments, it will be four minus so minus four or six 
619. And for BA, that will be 8.76. And for this, that will be minus 8.76. And uh, also in CB, in CB, that will be 10. Point uh, six to one feet, feet. They, are, they will be also in kilo feet, sorry, keeps feet. Uh, let's now try to find. Now I find the moments. After I find the moments, of course, I'm going to uh, try to find the shear forces. So let's do it now. In here, I'm going to find the shear forces. When I draw like that, this will be A, this will be B, and I have VA, and I have VB as left, okay? And I have 3, and I have a 3, and this is also 3, 3, and 3. That's okay. And I have moments. What is moment here? The moment is here, 4.619. The moment is here is say 876 so let's try to find the shears I'm going to write as moment at a is equal to 0 and I'm going to take this side as positive and for this one it will be VBL times 9 minus 876 minus 3 times 3 minus 3 times 6 and of course plus 4 6 1 9 is equal to 0 and so VB left is what is VB left is 3 46 and for the total f here is the total f y is equal to zero. So I'm going to take six minus six minus six minus three for the six and minus v a and equal to zero. So v a will be two fifty four, right? Yes. So if it is like that, let's do it the same for the the other uh, members, the other members, sorry. No. So this is going to be VB right. This is going to be VC. And I have a moment here and I have a moment here. The value of this moment is 8, 876. And the value of this moment is 10, 6, 2, 1, and the force is here, 4, and this is also 10, this is also 10 at this point. Now, one second, I'm going to write it correct. Sure, it actually cannot write it. So, at this point. So, let's write the total moment at B is equal to 0. So I'm going to write like that. If I know the total moment at B is equal to zero, that will be minus four, minus four times ten, and minus ten point six to one, and of course plus eight point seven six and plus V C times twenty is equal to zero. So V C is uh, two point or 93 so I'm going to take 4 minus the summation of the uh, total y is equal to 0 so I'm going to 2 or 93 minus v b right is equal to 0 so v b right that will be 1907 kips so now I have also my shear forces. So let's draw the shear diagram. I'm going to draw the shear diagram here. Uh, now, 
this is going to be A, this is going to be B, and this is this will be C. So let's draw it. At A, I have a uh, I have a shear force at two point fifty four, right? Two point fifty four, and we will come to that place two point fifty four, and I'm going to come until the force it acts. The force will act as three, and I'm go down three. That will be all point. 46, right? 0.46, and I will come to until the other, the other station. I can say actually other station, and then that will be three acts, and I will go down. That will be 346. I will come to that this place. I'm going to stop, and at B I have left and right forces. I'm going to take the summation of the left and the right forces, and uh, the summation of them, the summation of them, that will be, for example, that will be 4.3, something like that. And when I sum, when I subtract from the 3, 4, the 6, that will, sorry, um, it, uh, it goes too much, sorry. Uh, now, that will be, that will come to 1, yes, 1, 9, oh, 0. And I will go on, I will go on at the same because there is no any force and I will come to the, the center of this membrane and then the four the force at the four magnitude will act. So when the four acts, it will come down again and it will come to two point nearly one and then oh, I'm gonna draw it better and I will stop there it will be approximately 2.1 and now this is my this is my you can see this is my shear diagram and now I'm going to draw also the moment diagram the moment diagram I'm going to draw it here I'm going to draw it here and this is B this is A and of course this is C okay so let's draw it I have a 4 4.619 the moment here right and this is going to be 4.619 and I will go up I will go up the, the amount of this area I will go up the amount of this area and I will stop here that will be nearly 2.851 uh, we can say and I'm going to uh, if you can see that it's it changed area now for example if it is the negative this is the positive so so it changed so I'm going to down I'm going to down it will decrease I'll decrease uh, until that point until that point so that will be something like that uh, I guess yes that will be something like that and when I come to this point the force will act and I will go down sorry that will be a triangular shape it will be a triangular shape so I want to draw it a little correct no sorry yeah that will be something like that I guess that will be uh, 8.76. Uh, I will go down this area, for example, this area represent this amount. This amount. This area represent the decreasing of this area. Okay. And then after I came here, you know, I have to go up goes up uh, the amount of this area I will goes up until the force sorry until the force acts I have to take the pen until the force acts for example at this point and there will be uh, 10 to 24 10 to 24 and then I will 
goes down, 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 and until the last point. And it will be 10 to 76, my moment value. This is the moment diagram. I'm sorry that I cannot uh, draw uh, so good, but I'm going to make it better. Uh, but the shape is going to be like that. You can be sure about it. Uh, thank you for watching me. Uh, if you anything something, uh, if you anything that you cannot understand, of course you can uh, comment. I can uh, rewrite uh, there also. Uh, it's important for me.